Hey guys, Alan here, Solid Rock Bible Class. Hey, glad you're with me this morning. Back to character traits of Jesus. The word for the day here that we're working with today is respectful. Being respectful. A feeling of deep respect and honor mixed with wonder, awe, and love for the persons that God is using in my life to produce character of Christ in me. That's kind of a mouthful, isn't it? We need to be respectful about the people God has put in our life. Not all of those people in our life are going to necessarily agree with us, but he's put it there for the character, for our character. Let's look over to the book of Deuteronomy in the fifth chapter, verse 16. This first word in here is honor. It, it, some of the other translations use the word respect, but it says, honor thy father and thy mother, or respect thy father and thy mother, as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee that thy days may be prolonged, and that it may be well with thee in the land which the Lord thy God hath given thee. Skip over real quick over to the book of 1 Thessalonians, over the New Testament. 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, verse 12. He says, And I beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and admonish them, and esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, for be at peace among yourselves. Notice here, he tells us right here, we need to appreciate the people. We need to respect the people that are there with us. Even if we don't necessarily agree with them, we need to at least respect them. And God's put some of those thorns in the flesh in front of us very clearly to mold our character as a Christian. In Romans, the 12th chapter, verse 3, he says, For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, which means seriously, according as God hath dealt with every man, the measure of faith. So no person should take and think he or she is better than somebody else. No person should think he or she deserves something better than somebody else because we don't. So we find ourselves at these different levels and we're there for a specific purpose. And it's all there to mold us as Christians. And God Almighty is the one that is molding our lives. So what is this respect all about? What is, what do you think that, what does God think about respect? It's, it's obvious when people show others respect, isn't it? You can tell when they do. And it's obvious when they don't. No one likes to be disrespected. It really hurts. Emotionally, it hurts when somebody disrespects you. And I mean, it's nothing new. All of us have had it happen to us. But it's not necessarily right. And though everybody wants to be respected, the Bible points out specific people who God thinks we ought to respect. One of them, of course, we already looked at, our father and our mother. We need to respect them. So let's take a look. Who does the Bible say we need to respect? I'm going to skip back over here just for a second with the father and the mother. In Leviticus, the 19th chapter, verse 3. This is out of the NIV. He says, each of you must respect his mother and father. In Leviticus 19.32, it says, show respect for every elderly and reserve, and, and reserve your God. Re, re, sorry. Reverse your God. I am the Lord. He says here, show respect for the elderly, people that are older than you. Look at uh, Leviticus 19.32 here. Let's read the entire thing here in the King James. He says, he says Thou shalt rise up before the, the hoary head. That is talking about the elderly. And honor the face of the old man and fear thy God. And then he says, I am the Lord. Why do, you, why, why do we take and listen to people that are older? Because they've been through it. They understand some things that we don't necessarily understand. When I go for advice, I don't take and look for some young person that's never went through it to get their book opinion of it. I go to that person that's went through it personally. I take 
and listen to their types of advice. But we need to show respect for absolutely everyone. He says that we need to love those that are around us, our brothers, our sisters, and, and, and our neighbors. Who is our, who is our neighbor? Well, we, we talked the other day about the Good Samaritan, and everybody is our neighbor at the, at the end of that, right? But he says, show proper respect to everyone. Love the brotherhood of believers. Fear God. Honor the king. First Kings, I mean, First Peter, the, the, the second chapter, verse 17. So how do we take and show respect? Actually, let's start out with this. How do we show disrespect? What are some ways that we show disrespect for others? Well, to talk back to somebody, argue with somebody, that doesn't mean you can't have a difference of opinion. To interrupt somebody when they're speaking, cutting them off. I, I had a funny thing happen to me about a little over a week ago. And uh, there was a customer that just did not want to hear what I had to say. And I was working with them at the, the level of the car and talking to them through the window. And right in the middle of the conversation, they hit the electric windows and just took it up. Why? Because they didn't really want to listen to what was going on. You can disrespect somebody by turning your back on them or putting that hand out and saying, you know, speak to the hand, I guess you could say. Or just not being responsive to somebody. Just taking and sitting there and not answering somebody, ignoring somebody. It's showing disrespect. And as we, we think about respect, respect is really kind of a basic social skill. It's very important for young people to learn the basics here. Manners, saying please, saying thank you. You know, when a child takes and deals with a teacher in school and gets their first job, these skills, they're very helpful to ensure their success because if they're sassy and bossy and they don't listen to the boss, they're not gonna last very long. If you're sassy and bossy to a teacher, they're not gonna give you the time of day. So we need to understand that manners has a lot to do with it. Just sometimes it's just a simple thing like, excuse me or thank you. Today, that's one of the things that the youth really, really need to learn is respect. And really, when it comes down to disrespect, Disrespect really comes down to kind of the golden rule. Treat other people the way you want to be treated. Do you really want somebody to treat you the same manner you're treating them? Do you want others to take and put you down? How does it make you feel when others take and treat you that way? Well, that's just exactly how it makes people feel when you treat them in those fashions. So we need to take and to treat others the way we want to be respected and the way that we want in our lives. So it sounds like, you know, the Bible has a lot to say here about respect. Who do you have the most trouble respecting? You know, I will say this, respect is something that has to be earned. Respect is something that does have to be earned. That doesn't mean though that we still can't be kind. Do you think it's okay if we disrespect a person just because we disagree with them? Do you know that the Bible takes and had, has a lot to say about the simple topic of respect? A couple of fast questions here. I guess I've already asked a couple. Who is somebody you need to show respect to? 
And would it please God if you respected that particular person? So the Bible says that we need to be respectful to other people. You're never going to take and learn and, and, and lead somebody to the Lord Jesus Christ if you don't respect them. A lot of times you'll hear some of these, these gang members take and say something, you know, they'll, they'll say something about, well, why did you hurt that person? Why did you kill that person? Well, they, they disrespected me. Made them feel bad. We have to earn respect, but we also have to take and we need to have to give respect to people. The Bible says that we must be as Christians respectful so that we can take and share the gospel with other people, so that we can reflect the Lord Jesus Christ. Because as we look through the entire New Testament when Jesus was right here on the earth, we see that he was respectful to people. He may not have agreed with them, they may have been trying to trick him, but he was very respectful. So this is Alan. I will catch up with you a little bit later.